Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today and there is another E3 leak. What is happening? It's like a faucet in here, man. There's so many leaks and it's actually really exciting because this time around we're talking about Square Enix's Marvel Avengers, which we know very little about despite all the anticipation. And it's going to be a AAA Marvel game, so I understand the excitement from most folks. We learned that we're actually going to be seeing Avengers for the first time at E3 on June 10th, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Time. However, it was none too soon afterwards that we were confirmed some details thanks to a bit of a slip up on the E3 site. So we're going to be going over that brand new information and then I'll give my thoughts afterwards. So let's get started. This information comes from IGN.com with a headline titled, Marvel's Avengers will feature hero customization, single and multiplayer. So let's read on. Link to this will be in the description down below. As spotted by Evan Florica on Twitter, via PC Gamer, a since revised E3 Coliseum showing a since revised E3 Coliseum show listing for the game seemed to reveal elements of what's in store from the Crystal Dynamics game. Here's that original description in full. Embrace your powers and join key members of the development team at Crystal Dynamics and the creative team at Marvel Games as they talk exclusively about their upcoming Marvel Avengers. This is the defining Avengers gaming experience, an epic action adventure that combines cinematic storytelling with continuous single player and cooperative gameplay. Moderated by Andrea Rene, assemble in teams up to four players, master extraordinary abilities, customize your heroes to fit your playstyle, and combine powers to defeat an ever-expanding world under constant threat. And you know what? I, I feel I'm a bit out of costume for this video, so just one moment, please. Over one shoulder, over the other, and then... Oh yeah. You know, I always said when I bought this at Universal Studios that this onesie would come into use at some point in time and I'm glad I can finally justify it so soon. On a more serious note, I have to say that an ever-expanding world hints at probably games as a service and it was confirmed pretty quickly after by Liam Robertson who has done some leaks correctly in the past. He did the KOTOR reboot from Bioware Austin which was then confirmed by Jason Schreier to be on Stasis. He's done a number of other leaks outside of that but anyway, Liam Robertson says, yes, Avengers is games as a service. And then when questioned about it, he said it can be played alone, but it is designed as an ongoing thing like Destiny, I heard. Okay, so when it comes to the gameplay, because they say your own hero, customize your own hero, I wonder if this means we are literally creating a character from the ground up that's gonna be inserted in this universe and we're gonna attach our own powers to them, whether we are a flying character, we're on the ground. I wonder how expansive that type of stuff becomes. But let's talk about games as a service because I'm gonna remove the filter here for a second. I can't emphasize how absolutely fucking stupid I think this is. And don't think I'm jumping the gun because I think I can reasonably justify why I feel this way. For starters, why the hell are you going to make an Avengers game with multiplayer components when you have Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 dropping as of this time in two months, which is heavily based on Avengers. Granted, we can see on here Deadpool, we can see Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen, we can see Venom. So it's not like obviously Marvel the Avengers tend to lean very, very heavily into the Avengers stuff. So when I saw this, I was like, why would you have two games literally fighting over each other when both of them have similar goals? They have multiplayer mechanics. And I know that one seems to have customization where one is, if you've played Marvel Ultimate Alliance in the past, Easily some of the best Marvel games, by the way. Highly recommend them, both one and two. One is my personal favorite, is that there were some RPG elements in there as well. So what I'm seeing is overlap, and I never viewed overlap as good because I always get flashbacks to the Battlefield 1 versus Titanfall 2, where you had two pretty solid games, but they were both first-person shooters. They were both very close to each other. There was that overlap, and in turn, one got chosen over the other, and ironically, both came from the same company. And we're seeing not the same thing here in the terms of the same developer, but we are seeing the same in the terms of Marvel games. And maybe the difference here is that Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is a Switch exclusive. Number two, if you're gonna make a games as a service Marvel title that is based off the Avengers and playing as multiple heroes, why the fuck did Marvel Heroes Omega get shut down? This was a Diablo style Marvel game, free to play, and it was top tier man it was so good i enjoyed it so much man i discovered it way too late and it broke my heart that it was going 
but if you're gonna have games as a service, Avengers, squad-based games that are in the Marvel Universe, why are we getting rid of one and replacing it with another? Well, if it follows the path of destiny, we can surely assume why, because I could see it right now. We're gonna be playing as Spider-Man. They're gonna tell us, hey, you want that Miles Morales skin, dude? 15 bucks. Hey, you want that Mark III Iron Man skin? 10 bucks. Yeah, I could see it now because the thing about comic games is they are so ripe for monetization because comics are dope. The character concepts are amazing and we love to insert ourselves into these heroes' shoes and be like them in the games. And when they give us multiple tools to do that, it's a little worrisome. Now, I don't wanna jump the gun entirely on how games as a service will be put into place, but I'm gonna say this much, I am significantly less excited after seeing this than I originally was for a Square Enix AAA Marvel title. Because in my head, although I, I already said this, I knew it was not possible, what I always hoped was to see them do a sleek, stylish JRPG style. I'm not asking directly for a JRPG, but the style of one based off the Avengers. So what I'm saying is those sleek menus, you know, you can equip accessories to Captain America, he'll get plus four strength, there's leveling up, there's stat grinding, it's turn-based. You can pick from a swath of Avengers to customize your squad, all building different team chemistries. Oh man, that would have been so neat, so different, and such a standout title. Not that this won't be, but that's what my heart wanted. Is that part of the reason I'm upset? No, that's just what I was really hoping for and I did not expect it because what the company saw here was let's make a game that makes a lot of money and there's no better way to do that than games as a service. So I like the idea of an expanding campaign. I just hope it's not in the vein of we'll say we have this one level and the level slightly changes once a week so there's just like different enemies there or there's like one little different interactive object there. It's not these drastic changes but it's change for the sake of saying there will always be something different happening in our world. You know, we've seen those marketing spiels be totally blown out of context and so that's the type of stuff I worry about with these games, man. Especially when they're saying we want to model it after Destiny. Maybe Destiny 2 is good now, but when I played it way back, when I played Destiny 1, like these are not games that you want to model your titles after. Anthem being another game that modeled itself after Destiny in many ways. I guess I just get fueled with concerns when I see a title that is trying to base itself off of a series I'm not a huge fan of. However, what this sort of does for me is solidifies my excitement that I originally had for Ultimate Alliance 3. Game Informer, as you saw with the magazine I have here, has been doing great coverage on this game. They've been releasing trailers for so many characters and we've seen a lot of gameplay from it and it looks exactly as what I hoped it would be. So for me personally, man, that just solidifies that. It was one of my top 10 most anticipated titles of this year. I think it was at number eight. And now it's definitely solidified in that spot. I'm very much looking forward to it because at least I know with that, I'm getting exactly what I want, which is a single player title, no monetization. I can play co-op with my friends and I don't have to worry about these games as a service monetization acts creeping up on my game. I know some people are a little more accepting of microtransactions and I have my instances where I am, but let's just say that right off the bat, seeing the ever expanding world thing has been very off-putting for me personally. All in all though, I'm sure the game can look cool and if it is fantastic, it can justify those microtransactions in some way and maybe it's not as egregious as I'm imagining. Just my biggest mistake when growing up was trusting the company to make the right decision for me, the consumer. It's great when we see a company make the best decision for the consumer, but trusting them to do the right thing never served me right. And it took me a while to realize that. So I know some will see this and go, God, Matt used to be always so hyped about shit. And I am, I'm excited about Marvel gaming, but when it comes to stuff I don't know much about and I see stuff like this and you hear rumors about Destiny being like it, I mean, it puts a bad taste in my mouth. So I just wanna keep it realistic here, man. That's what I always do. I don't want people to think I'm being a negative Nancy. Uh, this is a series and Marvel in general is very important to me. I, I love Spider-Man. He is my favorite superhero of all time. These things matter so much. So that's why I'm a lot more impassioned about it. And in turn, I'm a lot more critical about this series because I don't wanna see them go down the wrong path. But then again, I feel Square Enix also viewed this as a decision where they need a winner. You know, they mismanage projects left, right, and center. And so when you look at Final Fantasy VII, you look at Kingdom Hearts III, it's like, Jesus Christ, they can't get anything right when it comes to just managing the project and getting it out in a timely manner. So if they can get something out 
in a timely manner like Avengers. We learned about it in what, 2017? And now I think it'll probably be a middle 2020 game. So not too bad for a three year dev cycle. They just announced they had their hands on the project and naturally it went dark because development had started right when they announced it. But yeah, those are just my thoughts on this leak, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it wasn't too aggressive, just like I said, man, I feel like there's a lot of overlap, conflicting decisions within Marvel games, short-sighted ones like canceling Omega just to do something else that's games as a service. You could have had both. And I don't think maintaining Marvel Hero Omegas was really breaking the bank for Marvel, who's making, in general, billions of dollars off of movies, toys, games. Give me a break that that had to get shut down in turn for other games to flourish. It could have easily coexisted with everything else. I mean, a free-to-play Marvel title, hello? And then, like I said, the overlap with the Ultimate Alliance games, I just think that might be a silly choice if it's exactly how I imagine, which so far I've been pretty accurate with that. So we'll see in due time, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Do fire away, ladies and gentlemen. Other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and if you like onesies like these, then do consider supporting me on Patreon as it fuels all the content I create here. Other than that, stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.